teachers and all the well wishers welcome back to another wonderful poem victorian era a poet motivational poem hope filled words and he is a wonderful person who just uttered the lines i am the master of my soul many times we feel strong all the time we say okay i can do this i am good at it my strengths are these our resume our all these cv will fill with all this positivity and positive words some difficulty little physical ailment Lit, little physical stress and pressure that's it all our positive words will vanish oh i give up no i'm not going to sorry i'm not going to come for the work as i have this difficulties sorry i'm not going to take this examination as i have these difficulties such such souls need this kind of poem the souls who give up easily who depress easily who distress easily we need a beautiful poem called invictus and the poet is william ernest henley a british poet a victorian era writer a critic and an editor actually he suffered so much his father was a struggling bookseller and at the age of 12 of this earnest william ernest henley he lost his father and soon in his teenage itself he was diagnosed with tubercular arthritis tuberculosis and the situations demanded necessitated to amputate one of his leg from the knee below so at the knee his leg was amputated because to save the whole body from the tuberculosis arthritis tuberculosis and another leg because of immediate surgeries he was saved he is left with one leg but another leg was amputated just imagine lost father at 12 underwent this kind of medication ailment trouble struggle physically and lost one of the leg amputated medical amputation because of the ailment never gave up a man filled with hope strength faith of future not worried about today not giving even a, a slightest feel towards the pain he is undergoing the physically not fit mentally strong i like that phrase physically many ailments many pull, people will be pulling us back but mentally strong william ernest henley beautiful lines of this invictus i try to look for the meanings of this invictus it's a latin portuguese spanish word all mixed latin portuguese spanish he is not an ordinary writer extraordinary writer a british writer an english writer during the victorian era he published he he wrote this poem in 1875 but published in 1888 it took many years almost 10 to 12 13 years for him to publish he published it as a book of verses a volume of first book but when he wrote when he looked back oh did i write these lines during those days of my pain and struggle 
lots of beautiful lines. That is what we should learn during these days. Small, small ailments, small trouble at home, small trouble in the office, small trouble in the workplace or in the business, in the industry. We collapse. These are all physical. Who can stop this soul? Who can stop the inner spirit and inner man to have that vision and mission to be accomplished? The poem goes like this. He starts his first line. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole. The whole night covers. Night itself is so dark. Black hole as pole to pole. It's so hard. Tomorrow if the leg is being amputated because of the sickness and di diagnosed as a, you know, a struggling with a tubercular arthritis, how will that night be? Painful, dark, pitch dark. You can't see what is the next step of life. I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. Though the night was dark, though the dark night covered me, the pit pole to pole it's so dark, but I thank the gods who gave me the physical pain and at the same time who blessed me with un conquerable soul now the meaning of invictus is unconquered unsubdued invincible undisputed undefeated so many synonym shades of meanings for this powerful title invictus I really liked it. We should be like that. Small, small ailments, small pain, small suffering should not stop us in achieving our dreams and goals and mission of life. Life can be short, life can be long. But when you don't achieve because of the small ailments, we, we have so many examples who amputated their legs but they become good swimmers, good runners, good mountain climbers, good dancers. Good teachers, good business people, they have not, uh, you know, uh, gave up their mission and uh, vision of life just because of their amputated legs or amputated trunk or amputated hands or a hole in the heart or a, uh, some problem in the head. No, they're, they're working. Don't give up. Hope of life unconquerable soul we all have and he thanked gods whoever the gods may be who bestowed unconquerable soul in my life in the fell clutch of circumstances i have not winced nor cried around here the winced and not cried don't i never even felt pain I didn't cry in the clutch of the pain and struggle. When I have, when I lost my father, I have to take care of the whole thing at home or nobody, no strong support at the family at home. And at the same time, struggled with tubercular arthritis. Pain, you just try to know what is tuberculosis with, accompanied with arthritis. Unimaginable pain unimaginable suffering in that situation he have he he just he is trying to recollect and say this i have not winced nor cried aloud never cried aloud never even felt the pain in the soul under the blood yawnings of chance my head is bloody but unbowed. Blood yawning. Under the blood yawning chances. What are the blood yawning? Repeatedly beaten up. Trying to get up from one beat. Someone bet. That is 
some kind of pain you are trying to you gather yourself another beaten up beaten up all the while all sides in life beaten up mentally beaten up financially beaten up physically beaten up health wise but still my head is bloody lot of pain struggle suffering bleeding that is all you know he is trying to uh, give us the account account of what kind of pain he is undergoing but unbowed i didn't bow myself to the physical circumstances i was so strong my spirit is unconquerable unsubdued undefeated beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade i know beyond this place of wrath pain anger you know uh, giving up nature it takes you to the edge of that fear of life there hangs a future there because this death in between there is life still he feels and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid whatever the years ahead between now the pain what i undergo and there is death in between there is life which looms around which hangs around i face all those years unafraid i am ready to face okay today amputated like tomorrow something else tomorrow another thing but i wait that day unafraid invictus unconquerable it matters not how straight the gate here straight is a narrow passage how charged with punishments the scroll a passage of scriptures it matters not how straight how narrow the passage or what kind of punishments we have which are written there which the fate people speak the fate but he concludes his lines i am the master of my fate i am the captain of my soul whatever the narrow passage may be whatever the scrolls written over there the book of life which waits at the death time but still i am the master of my fate and i am the captain of my soul though he has written this 1875 today 2022 we still read about his poem we still talk about this great man he died at the age of 53 but 53 years of struggle physically being a human the body struggle the energy struggle the financial struggle the materialistic struggle but not the soul the soul is invictus unconquered undefeated unafraid i want everybody to take up this motivational poem have hope of life work towards don't worry about the physical circumstances will overcome if not now tomorrow or after a month or an year but who can stop our soul who can stop our spirit we are always remember i am the master of my fate and i am the master of my soul think of this great man be blessed have a nice day